Welcome to the Artisan Empire. Welcome to the third part of three parts of coffee evaluation and cup testing. In the last two parts, we have uh, demonstrated all up to the point where we evaluate, uh, break the crusts, and scores are taken through breaking the crusts and scooping the crust with the two Artisan Empire titanium black cupping spoons that we are using. Thirdly, we need to evaluate the flavor, aftertaste, acidity, body, and balance. When the samples is, is cooled to at least 71 degrees in about 8 to 10 minutes from infusion, evaluation should begin. The coffee is slapped into the mouth with a vigorous way as to cover much area as possible, especially the tongue and upper palate. Flavor and aftertaste is rated at this point on our SCA cupping score sheet. As the coffee continues to cool down around 140 Fahrenheit, the acidity and body plus the balance are rated also at that point. Balance, of course, is the assessment of how well the coffee, how well the flavor, the aftertaste, the acidity, and body fit together in a synergistic, in a synergistic combination in this coffee. Fourthly, sweetness, uniformity, and cleanliness is evaluated as the brew approaches is around room temperature of around uh, 100 Fahrenheit, which is almost 37 degrees. Sweetness, uniformity, clean cup are evaluated. For these attributes, making a judgment of on each individual cup. Evaluation of the coffee should ease when the samples reaches about 20, 21 degrees. And the overall score is determined and given to the samples as points based on all the attributes combined. And lastly, scoring. After the samples are evaluated, all the scores are added and the final score is recorded using SCA standard score sheet for each individual component score. As mentioned from previous parts, we have different coffees, but I'm not going to indulge in much more of all. I'm going to talk, single out one coffee that was outstanding on this table, which is a Panama Geisha natural anaerobic fermentation. Very complex from the beginning of the aroma and fragrance, so is the flavor. When it's hot, I picked out brown sugar, honey, and hint of strawberry. It's a long finish of sweet apricot. As it cools down, the flavors, you, you get red apple, red grapes and the finish or aftertaste is passion fruit with a long dried mango acidity a soft mellow acidity of malik similar to apricot when it's hot and citric like mandarin as it cools down with tartaric like red grapes finish the body is medium when it's hot and becomes syrupy as it cools down this is a well balanced coffee amazing perfect balance of body and acidity and the sweetness gently enveloping the complex acidity overall i enjoyed this coffee Among other coffees that we have, just to, to mention, we had a Kenya 
from Nyeri, SL28 and SL34 variety. It's a washed process. Ethiopian Yega Chef Natural Helium variety. And an Indonesian honey processed. So those are the coffees that we had for you. And thank you for uh, watching. Thank you for keeping in touch. We will be uh, giving you our next show, which is question and answer show. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Bless it.